So good morning everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar, Microsoft Teams, Office 365 and its learning, full pedagogical potential. This is Mauricio Romero from the Higher Education Department at its learning. And I'm very happy to introduce our speaker this morning, Lars Jakob, who is the head of product ownership at its learning. Lars is going to show us an overview of the core features in its learning and how they are integrated with Teams and Office 365 to unleash a full strength learning environment. But before I do that, I would like to share the agenda for today. We're going to hear a brief introduction about Lars and his role of, at its learning, followed by his presentation. We're going to uh, answer the most questions we can right, after, right before presenting some useful links in our upcoming webinar session. Just to remind you, all attendees are set on mute, but if you have any questions, there's a button in the right hand of the screen with a question mark. Just write anything you would like to ask and we will address them in the Q&A. So without further ado, let's begin. Good morning, Lars. Good morning, and um, thank you. <clears throat> yes, I'll start by talking a bit about myself. Uh, my name is Lars Jagobova, and I'm the head of product ownership. I've had a head of product ownership at this learning, which means I'm responsible for management and development of a learning platform. Now, I've been here for 10 years, where I had different roles in product management. So I've seen most of the product working with that for the past 10 years. And before that, I used to work at the University of Bergen, where I took a PhD in information science, focused on user experience and information retrieval systems, also did some research and did some teaching. Now, <clears throat> enough about me. Uh, what I want to talk about today is Microsoft Teams of the 365 Minutes Learning and how that unleashes the full uh, pedagogic, pedagogical potential of this combination. Now, its learning is a fully fledged enterprise learning management system supporting all parts of the teaching education processes. Uh, we have a very strong side on taking care of all the things that are processual, taking time, taking uh, happening over time, uh, giving structure, giving context, giving insights, providing analytics, and all of these things are important in a teaching situation. What we are doing now is to combine this with the real-timeness of the uh, productivity tools offered through Office, like Teams and OneNote, how these things in combination with the learning platform provides a seamless experience, uh, which gives you the best of these two worlds. So that's kind of the thing I want to talk about today. The way we are building this, approaching this, you can connect, kind of group those into four different areas. On one side, we are making it much easier to create and access Office documents throughout its learning. We are also making sure that there are um, strong connections between Teams and its learning to facilitate activities both inside the classroom and outside the classroom. We are building strong two-way ties between OneNote and other Office uh, productivity tools and its learning. And we are also giving options and activities inside uh, the various Office apps. So these are the guiding principles behind the work we have been doing for this kind of seamless experience. Now, talking about seamlessness, before going into the details, I just want to say a few words on what seamlessness means for us. And if you kind of make it in simpler words, it just works. That's the whole point. We are providing easy access from its learning uh, to its learning from Office 365 and Teams and the other way around. In this case, illustrated by the way you can see how um, its learning is available as one of the apps inside the Office 365. We provide seamless login, no need to think about passwords, accounts are pre-connected, it just works. So you move between the systems, you don't have to think. So, and also another part of this seamlessness is about making sure there are consistency between the different tools you use in your day-to-day -day activities. Of course, Office 365 Teams and its learning are different systems, built by different vendors, have the different histories, so there will be differences. But what we need to make sure and what we do is to ensure that uh, there is seamlessness across the things that you do. There are hooks that you recognize. For instance, in your courses in this learning, you see the colors, you have the names, and these are also reflected inside Teams. So you always recognize where you are, you always have this consistency. And if there are groups or courses created in one of the systems, we make sure that they are seamless, they also exist in the other systems, so that you recognize where you are. Welcome to the 
Now, in terms of what this means in details, I'll try to go through and illustrate a few things for you. One of the things we know is important is about planning. And it's learning as a strong planning tool, which allows you to create and organize plans with topics, dates, and activities. In essence, to give structure to your teaching, provide a plan. You can connect this to things like learning objectives and standards, either they are created by your national government or something you set up with your faculty or department to guide and to give structure to, to your teaching. Uh, and this can be used to provide this context to, to students. Uh, what it also does now, if you look at the right hand side here, you have links to third party content, for instance, say, free educational online resources, there might be tools or things you set up in the learning platform, or in this case, you can also add a contact ad in a OneNote document, which we've done here. So you put uh, Office 365 resources directly inside the plan. Another aspect of this is our assignment tool or our hand-in tool, which is the main tool which is being used to provide out work that students uh, might uh, are supposed to be doing, either for kind of practice exercises or as part of more formal parts of the exam. This tool has all the things that you expect from an assignment tool, like support for peer assessment, self-assessment, group assessments, and other uh, these assessment tools rubrics uh, like with the planner you can connect them to standards it has a built-in plagiarism control and you can set all the things that you want to do with an assignment in addition to that uh, we have a seamless integration with office 365 to show this in this case i have a generic description of the assignment i open office 365 and in this case select a one note document i've created previously and add it to the assignment and also I specify here that I shall make a copy for each student or in other cases I might be a copy for each group of students that's supposed to work on this as a collaborative effort. Now we take care of everything in the back end. We create separate documents for each student, for each group, handle the permissions. So all you need to do as a uh, lecturer, professor or a teacher is to just set this up and we take care of the rest. Now this is an example of flow where the teacher starts or the professor starts with planning and setting up an exercise. Now, we of course know that day-to-day -day life is much more messy than that. You don't always start in the assignment tool, in the learning platform. In many cases, we know that you start in the tools. You start either browsing the internet, finding something on uh, your favorite online resource, or you work inside your uh, Word documents or inside PowerPoint. What also is part of the seamless experience is that we are bringing the teaching platform, we're bringing this learning to you where you are. In this case, you have a person creating an assignment or an assignment template. Um, once they're happy with this, so they see, I want to use this as part of my assignment. You have an option to go here, add it to its learning. In this case, I want to create the document I have created, used as a template for an assignment. I want to use it in a math course. I give it a title and I make it available for my students, and then just click Add to Course. Now it appears inside your course, and if you want to, ready to be start to work by your students immediately. Freeing up the time you have to do your, or to do your work, or, or even to follow up your students, if that's what you need more time to do. Now, let's flip to the student side of things. In this case, uh, we have students who are mainly using Teams as a kind of starting point for the day-to-day -day activities. I mentioned earlier that we're building a this learning app, dedicated app, that gives access to content in Teams. Now, what we're looking at now is the uh, conversation uh, tab of Teams. You have the different Teams, which is, corresponds to the courses you are taking. In the conversation stream, you can see the plan that the teacher created shown as part of the conversation. Students can look at it or they can just browse through it, scroll to the next thing which catches their interest. But if they want to, they can go into details, jump directly to the assignment or activities or uh, see more details. We are also providing things like more overview, in this case a separate tab which will show you the different plans we have. You can dive into the details or again jump into its learning. <clears throat> Another example here, you can see all the tasks that you have. You can see what you have done, what is due today, and what's happening next. 
So it gives you windows into the details of the learning platform where you start doing the work. <clears throat> now, if you're anything like me, if your calendar isn't working, you're lost. If I don't have it in my calendar, I don't know where I'm supposed to be, where I'm supposed to be, or what I'm supposed to do. So we also bring this into Outlook as an example. You can see if you have set this up, you can see the different uh, time slots where you're supposed to be doing, which activity you're supposed to be taking and where. And also in this case, you see that I have an assignment that I need to hand in as a student. I click on this and I'm taken directly into the assignment where I can start doing my work as a student. Now recall that the teacher set this up to every student got their own copy uh, of what they created. and That's ready for the student to start working on. As a student, I click on answer. Uh, I now see the document that was created for me. I can start typing into this. I can start doing whatever I want to do with this. At the same time, the teacher has the option to kind of also open this document, see the progress, give comments, kind of look over the shoulder of a student and give them assistance if that is what they want to be doing. When the student is done, they just submit it and it goes back into the system, done. Then, as a teacher, I of course have a full overview of the progress and what is happening uh, with my students who are doing their assignments. I can see who have submitted, I can see who have started, and I can also see who have uh, not started, haven't done anything yet. Uh, I can click on one of these, and I go jump directly into a view of what they're doing. Here I get overview details, such I can see uh, a plagiarism status. There's a 5% match with another document here. I can see a detailed report. I can see what they're doing. And in this case, it's a one line document. It might be a Word document or a PowerPoint. But the point is, when I'm watching this, I can use the feedback and commenting tools that is available inside this productivity tool. I could insert a video, I could use tracking, I could use just typing text to provide in-document feedback directly to the students. Or, what I also can do, give a formal grade, if that's what they want to do, and give a high-level uh, overview of, or high-level feedback to go along with the grade, which would be a part of official documents and might also be sent to your uh, final destination, your school administrative system, if that's what you want. I can even also start to trigger a conversation inside the concept of this document, if that is what I want to do. But the point is, as a grader or assessor, you have it all in one place, the details and the high level, using the tool that is made available to you. Now, another part of this is that once you, once you do this, once you set up a plan, once you use the assignment tools, all the other tools that is needed for you or you want to use in your teaching situation, uh, you also get the benefit of insight and analysis to reports. As a course teacher, you can see the activity, progress and grades and the trends of these in your group of students. It gives you detailed analysis, detailed insight for the class, but also for individual students. So in this case, I can see my entire class, I can see how many students, how many activities there are, and how many different grade scales I'm using. I can also see a very high level average or trend of uh, how this group of students are doing. I can see the details, and I also quickly can visually compare um, uh, how the trend for this student is with overall trend for this course. Or I can jump into it, one specific student, and see details. In this case, a report of the activities they've done. This can be important if you want to just follow up your class. It can be used, for instance, if you want to try to identify potential dropouts early. There might be trends that are changing. And uh, in essence, as a pedagogue, professor or teacher, you get the overview and insight you need to properly follow up your class. Extension of that, if you see there is some that you want to reach out to, you can do it directly from these reports. Send it to them and start a dialogue with the students. All of this is of course possible because of this tight integration. And we get the structure, you get the processes, you get the overview and context with the learning platform combined with the strength of the tools that is offered by the productivity tools, which you find from Microsoft Office and Teams. Now, 
as a final example of kind of how these tools are uh, uh, built in, we're also now launching integration with Immersive Reader. And if you don't know what this is, Immersive Reader is an inclusive education tool that uses different techniques to help improve reading and understanding, regardless of the person who's reading, the age or the abilities. It provides dictation, focus mode, spacing, lines, dictionary, all of these things that makes it easier for a student or person to read a text. This is now embedded inside its learning uh, in many places. For instance, like this, you can uh, use Immersive Reader to help you understand a text which is difficult for you if you, if you want to do that across the platform. Now, this was a very high level uh, glimpse of uh, how you combine the best worlds, the structure and context of this learning learning management system with the productivity tools and the real-timeness of communication and collaboration inside the productivity tools in Office, OneNote and Teams. So, I hope this was enlightening for you. Let's see if there are any questions. Sure. Well, we have a question, just a second, and here it is. If students add OneNote documents to their its learning activity, who is the legal owner of this document? <clears throat> the organization, its learning, or the student's Microsoft account? Well, uh, it's a good question. Uh, it's learning will never be the legal owner of these things because these are the schools or the institution who have ownership of these documents. But as the work, uh, it has to be fully integrated with your office tenant. Uh, so, uh, in essence, the institution will be the owner of these documents. There might be nuances there that can be set up, but that's a kind of overall view of this. All right. Uh, here we have more information about its learning and also the events, the upcoming events, and the roadmap. We also encourage you to join our social networks, and we will add the links in the description of the YouTube video, as we usually do, and we will send this uh, recording for all of you registered today. Uh, our next webinar, it's called How Has VIA University College Inspired Their Teachers to Adopt a New LMS? And for this session, we are very happy to have Mats Willesen, pedagogical IT consultant at VIA University College in Denmark. He will share his experience with the implementation of its learning and how to drive teacher motivation and increase student engagement. It's going to be a great session and we will also add the registration link in the description of the recording. So thank you all for joining us today and thank you Lars. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right.